4082. Hey, what's up, bro? Hey, come here. Where you going? You gotta go to work. Oh, you doing a little work? Let me show you something. Give me Ezekiel on um, 1611. Well, I see you flossed out, man. Look at you. you got the Gucci. What this? The Gucci hat on? I see you. I see you. Where you work at? Down here? Downtown somewhere? Oh, Frankie's. Oh, you got two jobs. You know them. Okay, okay. Watch this, bro. Let me show you something about that necklace you got on, guy. This is the book of Ezekiel, chapter 16 and verse 11. I deck thee also with ornaments. The Lord said he decked thee also with ornaments, God. And I put bracelets upon thy hands. Upon thy hand, God. And a chain on thy neck. Chain on thy neck, man. That's why you flossed out right now, man. The Lord put it on your spirit to had it be decked out, man. What you what you think about that? What you you was pointing at that? What's, what's up with that? You got a problem with that? Oh, you're a saint? Yo, do you probably worship him? You a, what you a Satan is? What the, what the, what? You worship the devil? Who is the devil? What the word devil mean? Hold on. No, it don't. Nah, it, it's Di it comes from the Latin Diablo, which means deceiver. So when you get that, the anti against what? Deceiver. So you a liar? You deceive people? Oh, you do? How you do that? Oh, you a thief? Why you, why you be stealing? Who you, who you be stealing from? Why you got a job? What you doing stealing? You do both. Well, what, what you think gonna happen? You stealing from people? Now you gonna go to hell. The Lord gonna put you to death, man. If you don't repent and come back. It ain't, you know, you saying that now, but if somebody was to force your water in um, some water, you gonna try to um, survive, right? Quit lying. It's in your natural instincts to survive. So stop acting like you wanna die. Like I say, niggas say they want to die, but I bet you're not in a rush to die, huh? I, I know that, right? So you better return to the Lord, or the Lord gonna bring judgment on you, man. Right. Saying you're a Satanist. So what, what, what you do with your Satanist stuff, man? Uh, a lot, like what? Uh, a lot? Quick question. So you say you're a Satanist, right? So do you follow the tenet of being an autotheist? No, an autotheist. That's one of the first tenets of being a Satanist. You know what that is? What is the auto this? I don't know, man. Give me um First Corinthians eight and two, man. You bugged out of your damn mind, man. Yeah, you might be a child of the. Give me Acts thirteen and ten. Hey, the Lord gonna. Hey, you. Don't, hey, I don't know you. Hey, you better repent, man. The Lord gonna put your ass to death, man. All right. Talking about you a Satanist, man. Give me Acts thirteen and ten, man. This is the book of Acts chapter thirteen. He just bugged out his damn mind. That's what's wrong with him. Acts chapter 13 verse 10 and said, O oh, fool of all subtlety. You a damn fool, man. Talking about he don't believe in the Lord, man. He is Satanist. Who, who created Satan? He got his mind. The Lord created him. This nigga's bugged out, man. I ain't think he finna say that. <laughs> you shocked me. What's good, bro? You did all right, bro? O oh, fool of subtlety and all mischief, thou child of the devil. What is that guy? Child of the devil. He a child of the devil. He say he, he, he worship the devil. I ask him what the word devil means. He don't even give me the definition of the word devil, man. All right? He's just talking out his mind. Probably been smoking weed all day. Which, he also said, he, I, know what, I, I know what being an uh, auto theist is. He said, yes, well, what is it? Oh, I don't know what it is. <laughs> First Timothy chapter 4, verse 2. Speaking lies. Speaking what? Speaking lies. Yeah, that guy a liar, man. And the most high hate liars. Our, our life is going to get to taste that second death, man. All right, go ahead. Speaking lies and hypocrisy, having their conscience seared with a hot iron. His conscience seared with a hot iron. Talking about he is Satanist, man. But now, now if you worshiping that guy, you really are Satan. You're a Satanist right there. That's Satan, man. Give me Leviticus 17 and 7 on that guy, man. Not you on. You can say, what, what, what I had you hold? How y'all doing? Are you believing the Bible, man? Why not? What, why you iffy about it, man? You better get right. Hey, America gonna be destroyed. You don't wanna get caught in it, do it. That's right. All right. You might get caught in it. The book of Leviticus chapter, where you headed to? Where you headed to? You a damn mad shooting from the looks of it, guy. <laughs> the book of Leviticus chapter 17 and verse 7. And they shall no more offer their sacrifices unto devils. Yeah, offer our sacrifice unto devils. The Israelites will no longer offer their sacrifice to devils. And what's the biggest devil y'all been sacrificing to for the past 500 years, man? Sejuray Borgia right here. And when you go into that word devil in the Hebrew, it's Shaya. Shaya 
which mean like Mount Sid, where Esau dwelled at, man. So this is the biggest devil that our people ever um, worship, man, and offer sacrifices to. So we trying to break, tear down that stronghold for they can come back to the Heavenly Father and, and have faith in His Son. That's all we trying to do out here, man. So if you hear it, you don't hear it. But like the Lord said, His sheep hear His voice, man. So the elect gonna come in the fold no matter what. You got some? Hold on, let me, let me finish this. After whom they have gone a horn. Yeah, going a horn, man. Y'all horn with this guy right here, man. Yeah, this guy right here tell you you can do anything as long as you get on your knees and repent. You know what I'm saying? You can you can do a damn mass shooting as long as you, you know what I'm saying? You can repent, you good. You feel me? Nah, that, that's y'all going horn after that, man. All right, Israel, y'all going horn after this devil right here, guy. This shall be a statute forever unto them throughout their generation. Throughout that generation, man. So we shouldn't be doing this throughout our generation. We're supposed to be teaching our kids these laws, statutes, and commandments. Give me um, Psalm 78 and 5. This is Romans chapter 1, verse 28. And even as they did not like to retain God in their knowledge. Y'all yeah, don't want to retain God in y'all knowledge. You so-called blacks and Latinos. All y'all want to retain is a damn, um, a damn house party. Or them kickback, man. Or rap lyrics. That's all y'all want to retain in y'all, man. A bunch of wickedness and folly, man. But y'all, when it comes to these holy scriptures and knowing your salvation, knowing who you are, your heritage, y'all don't want to retain it. They going one ear and out the other, man. But the Lord got something for that. When y'all going through y'all affliction, don't call on him. Hey, what you recording us, man? Huh? Are you recording? You gotta come 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 talk to us. You believe in the Bible? It's just a live video. You believe in the Bible? What you, who did, you believe in Christ? Who, who did he come for? Humans? What the word human mean? You know what that means? You don't know. Homo sapiens, what that mean? People like, well, people like, what's the category? Give me Matthew 15 to 24. You are the, humans. He came for you. I, I know what human mean. It comes from the Latin, human, man, a man of color. When you break down the etymology, confound it, God. Matthew chapter 15 verse 24 but he answered and said I am not sent the Lord said he is not sent God but unto the lost sheep of the house of Israel for the house of Israel are you an Israelite or are you a human you uh, are you an Israelite like do, what's your ethnicity are you a, like do your lineage go back to a man named Israel How far? Where they? Czech Republic. Oh, okay, okay. Well, more than likely, you're not an Israelite. I can tell in your spirit, man. First John two. So the, Christ only came for Israelites. So he ain't come for you. He coming to put you in slavery, boy. Yeah, all right, right. For all the rape, robbing, murder that um the good Czech Republicans did, man. All right. Hey, excuse me. Y'all can come by. Y'all can come by. Hey, y'all believe in the Bible? Yes, sir. Let me ask you something. Yes, sir. What do you got? All right, I got you. Hey, how you doing? Oh, my bad. My bad. Hey, what Christ? What you think Christ gonna do to his enemies? What's, what are he gonna do for you? He gonna say, give me Matthew 10 and 22. All right, all right, that's good. You don't know. He gonna do what he do. Where you from? Uh-huh. I don't doubt it. I have a Tucson. Okay, let's see. Okay, let's see if you saved, God. So you saved, bro. All right, God. All right, God. All right, let's. This is Matthew chapter 10, verse 22. And ye shall be hated of all men. Hated. Are you hated of all men? I hate of all men. Uh, I don't know. Let's see then. This is what Christ said. This is what Christ said. This is what Christ said, God. And ye shall be hated. But, uh, but, slide. And ye shall be hated of all men for, for my name's sake. But he that endureth to the end. He that endureth to the end. Is it the end yet? Okay then, God. But he that endureth to the end shall be saved. Shall be saved. Yes, so you ain't endure. How you know you saved yet? I know I'm saved. How you know? Did Paul? Mm -hmm. If you believe, give me um First John two yeah, nineteen. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. He was saved in that moment. What scripture that is? Oh, you but, but you believe, right? You believe? Oh, yeah, you believe, right? Watch this, God. This is first John. Actually, let me see. This it said, it said paradise. It said paradise. It said. Oh, okay, okay. 
It, it said paradise. That's what it actually said. Yeah. Okay. This First John uh, chapter two verse. You said nineteen. Eighteen. Oh, nineteen. They they went out from us, but oh, eight, uh, verse eighteen. Little children, it is the last time. And as ye have heard. Oh, James two and eighteen. Okay. Watch this. Let me show you. Oh no, I'm just asking you questions. I'm just asking you questions. James two and eighteen. This is James chapter two, verse eighteen. Yea, a man say, a man may say, thou hast faith, and I have works. Show me thy faith. He said two and eighteen. Verse nineteen. Thou believest that there is one God. I believe you believe, right? You believe is one God. Go ahead. Thou doest well. The devils also believe. Devil also believe, man. So you got to do something. You got to show your works to show that you believe in Christ, man. They not James. <laughs> hey, this is this is James chapter two verse eighteen. Yea, a man may say, "Thou hast faith." Alright. And I have works. Show me thy faith without thy works. Show me your faith without works. Alright, And I will show thee my faith by my works. We gonna show our faith by our works, man. We gonna do what Christ said do. Listen, listen, listen. Yeah, 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 okay, okay. Uh huh. Now, what did I say? What did I say? He born of a virgin. Did he come from seed? So he didn't come from sperm. Romans one and three, and give me Acts thirteen and twenty um, twenty three. Right? This is Romans chapter one verse three concerning his son Jesus Christ. Concerning Christ, go ahead. Our Lord. Which was made of the seed. Made of the what? Of the seed. Nah, a virgin. He just came straight from a woman. A seed. seed. You know that word in the Greek is sperma, which means sperm. So Christ came from sperm. He didn't come from a virgin. Right, right. Of David, according to the flesh. According to the flesh. <laughs> Wait a second. Yeah, David. Joseph. Joseph was the son of David. But you know, okay. What's your What's your name? What's your name? What's, Craig, that's just like if you have a great great grandson and they call you like in the Bible days you go by your forefather name. Just like Judah. Well you know he didn't literally I know it's a long time past, but he from the lineage he come from the seed of David. He come from the tribe of Judah, guys. Matthew, Matthew chapter one, verse one. The book of the generation of Jesus Christ, the son of David. The son of who? The son of David. The son of David. So he come from the he come from the tribe of Judah. So David is the king, the king tribe. Did he come from seed? Did he come from seed? Did he come from seed? Oh, he did. What did I say? What did I say? Give me, give me, give me Matthew one. They, you were retarded. This, this is, this is, this is, <laughs> this is Matthew chapter one verse sixteen. And Jacob begot Joseph. Jacob begot who? Got Joseph. The husband of Mary, uh -huh. of whom was born Jesus, who is called the Christ. How do you become somebody's husband according to the Bible? How do a man and woman come together according to the Bible? How does Mary, how would um, Joseph be Mary's husband according to the Bible? What would they do? This, no. Nah, this, 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 just listen right quick. I got you. What's it? Don't let her take it. We talking about the word of the Lord. Okay. Uh -huh. Let's see though, right here. Let's let's go. Let's go right. Now. This is Matthew one verse sixteen, and Jacob and Jacob begot Joseph, the husband of Mary, husband of Mary. So how do you become um, a husband and wife according to the Bible? Give me that in Genesis. What action? What action goes on? According to the Bible, that's what marriage means. You know that? Just go to Genesis. Go to Genesis. Oh, you got the first. This is, see, this, watch this. I'm going to read this again. I'll make a point. This is Matthew 1, verse 16. And Jacob begat. Hey, no peace to the wicked, man. Go ahead. And Jacob begat Joseph, the husband of Mary. Watch this. Of whom, of whom was the person he's talking about? Of whom, the last person, which is Joseph. 
of whom was born Jesus. Yeah, who was born Jesus. So that lets you know he come from Joseph Loins, man. Right. So that's a cut, that's a cut on that guy, man. He just wanna talk and spew a rhetoric, man.